All right, today is the day. Who what is up, my fellow Tarhans? I'm Captain Beans, and welcome to High Fleet Flight to Haravera, where in this episode we are going to launch an offensive on our main objective of this campaign, Haravera. So before we actually do any of that, real quick, uh, let's just see what happened with our fleet just for just for a moment uh okay the main fleet uh the flagship and the sava have fought a strike group last time and they both got extremely damaged uh even though unfortunately i wasn't able to capture the actual battle uh of this thing because of well it's it was my genuine mistake of actually forgetting to record that part <laughs> One thing I've also decided to do right now, uh, as we are going to prepare for this assault, is I'm going to rescue these two ships which have been stranded out here. Um, I'm going to send a couple of tankers to rescue these guys, and they're going to fly to Visnik and uh, get themselves also uh, figured out. Okay, let's do a little bit of uh, salvage operations at Articello. Oh shit, that is a missile. Can I launch a plane to intercept that? No, I cannot. Well, shit, that is a missile. You know what? Uh, you guys then just take off. And you're gonna have to somehow brace that missile. Shit. I, I guess these guys just got reported at uh, Visnik. And, uh... Ah, uh, that's a problem. Alright, let's go then. Missile. No! Okay, good thing that the missile targeted the Argilos, because Argilos is a bit of a stronger ship. Uh, that means it's more likely to take shots a little easier. Oh shit, another missile. Come on. Okay, let's just... Yes! Okay, that was a perfect shot. That was a perfect shot. Oh, come on. More missile. Bruh. Okay, at least we're flying now, so... Ah, uh, shit. This is gonna be worse. No! Fuck's sake, we're losing more lightnings than ever. Ah, uh, you know what? Never. Since you have proximity fuses, you are the only one who can stop missiles. You're the only one who has proximity fuses, so just... Okay, nice. And you also serve as an anti-missile ship. Just cover these guys real quick. Okay, that was the thing that happened at the salvage operation. Okay, let's land the ships uh, at Articelo. Uh, let's try to land the flagman. See if we can get this guy repaired. Hmm, could I maybe try placing a Sarmat gun on this ship? Maybe just as a way to get the flagman a little bit better at uh, fighting. Maybe that would be a good idea. Okay, let's check the market. We got a bunch of... 100mm prox fuses, incendiary, fuck off. Uh, yeah. Wait, there should be some ships here too, right? Uh, Mirkinos. What was it? 
That's a grasshopper. Ooh, that's a gladiator. Do you think that a gladiator would be a good ship for the Haravera fight? I mean, it would be good for fighting some of the smaller ships. Uh, since this thing has good artillery and it also has decent armor. I don't know though. It's uh, definitely... We could definitely buy maybe that gladiator, but I'm not going to buy it unless it's going to actually seriously be useful for us. Uh, one really big problem is that uh, I just cannot stay at any of these towns which are hostile. I'll get reported otherwise and, uh, you know, missiles are sent. So, okay, let's get these ships rescued. Let's get these guys into a safe space. And um, I guess what we'll do next is pretty much just attack Haravera as soon as the flagman and the Sava get at least some repairs done. Or alternatively, instead of the Sava, we could actually try somehow getting another ship. I don't know exactly how, maybe I could ask another ally to give us a ship, but uh, that could be a bit of a... Could be a waste right now. But I don't know. Should I even bother getting a new ship? When I can just probably fight the Haravera with my flagman? Especially with these slight modifications that I'm gonna make to this thing, to make it slightly more powerful. I don't know. Uh, okay, these are planes. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot that these guys also have planes. Uh, okay. I guess that's understandable. Have a nice day. <sighs> All of this tells me that we should fight Haravera as soon as possible. Because if we just keep waiting and loitering around here, they're just gonna keep sending missiles and planes after us. And that's just going to whittle us down a little bit. So, okay, you know what? Let's kill these planes right now. Even though they're going to disrupt my repairs. They're going to disrupt my repairs, though. And I have to repair everything again. Fuck you planes. You guys are absolute assholes. Also, why the hell are there so many sprints and these guys over here? What the fuck? Why are there so many components here? Honestly, you know what? I'm not gonna grab any of the components here. Just to be fair, just to not exploit this game. I'm not gonna grab any components here. Holy shit, this guy. Oh my god, the amount of repairs this guy's gonna take. Ah, uh, shit. Would probably be better off just selling the Sava, honestly. At least the Sava is not going to slow us down if it's not with us. But then, it is nice to have the Sava as another fighting ship. Mm. Wait, why don't we try searching Zargrad? Just as an experiment. Let's see. Let's launch this ship over there to Zargrad. Okay, you guys... You know what? Just chill out. Just chill out over here. It's fine. Okay, you know, you guys also just chill in the desert. You guys can fly back to any town anytime. I don't really want to move you guys right now. Uh, it would be useful to use the you guys, but uh, I don't know. Maybe not right now. Okay. Let's get the main fleet refueled. Uh, the flagship mostly repaired, if we can. 
Maybe we could find another good combat ship at Zargrad. I honestly forgot what sort of ships are there, so I'm just gonna check with the Neva. And uh, if it's like something like a good, good, good combat ship, then we'll we'll buy it and we'll sell the Savan, and then we're gonna launch an offensive. But otherwise, the flagship is going to be the one fighting mostly. <laughs> Okay, let's check Zargrad, Fennec, Fatman, Fennec, Heron. Okay, maybe the ships here are not as good as I thought they were. Maybe they're not so good. Okay, let's see if we can try landing the uh, Neva. Get it at least a little bit repaired because even this thing got quite destroyed by some of the cruise missiles. I'm surprised it's still alive though. It's a good ship. Okay, so there aren't any good ships at Zagrad, unfortunately. As unfortunate as it is. So that means what we could do is actually just buy a gladiator from here. Yeah, you know what? Let's buy a gladiator. Or a grasshopper, as it's called in this mod. I mean, look. It does have decent amount of side armor. Uh, not so much bottom armor, but it does have some uh, some good armaments, some 100mm uh, guns and these uh, Zenith missiles. I could probably use this thing as a way to kill some of the smaller ships at Haravera, and then we'll finish everything else off with the flagman. The main problem is I'm gonna have to make sure the flagman is okay. Uh, okay, you know what? Sava and grasshopper you guys actually go slightly away from the flagman just so that you guys don't get targeted by missiles or planes and stuff like that just so that just for safety reasons you know but you guys stay close to the fleet all right Okay, the guys at Visnik, uh, or not at Visnik, they're, they're away from there. Uh, do you think we could try liberating some towns up north over here? Using silent strikes and some of the lightnings here? It's plausible once the alarms go away, but uh, do I really want to do that? I mean, it would be good in the long run, after Haravera, because at least then we don't have to worry about fighting the garrisons of Danuba, Bukovina, and stuff like that. Okay, you know what, let's just get everything repaired, everything, let's just, okay, you know what, I'll cut to anything that happens, alright? Okay, that is an aircraft. Uh... Never take off. Okay, where's the plane? Where's the plane? There we go. Okay, the plane just spotted the Neva, so I'm just gonna, going to like set course away from there. And uh, hopefully none of the missiles decide to fly in there. Yeah, whatever is sitting at Haravera, it is extremely annoying. But unfortunately, we can't really do anything but just sit around. And just wait for everything to get repaired. So okay, the only ship that's in a town is the flagship. So that shouldn't be such a huge problem. Actually, no, let's... 
return this guy back to uh, Zargrad. Get it slightly repaired again. Also, if you guys have noticed, um, there's quite a bit of money in this fleet. Uh, this is due to a glitch that uh, I'm, I'm assuming it's a vanilla game glitch where money just spawns out of nowhere. Oh, see? <laughs> there's even more money now. But as much as I hate this glitch and I cannot really do anything about it, it doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things because, I mean, shortly after money is not going to mean anything so i mean we are close to the to the end game now so it's not really such a huge deal but it is a bit disappointing that this glitch is happening okay what about the flagman okay we're doing good we're doing good i'm not getting absolutely butt fucked right now Never mind, we are. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's see if we can somehow destroy this missile. Okay, okay, this is a missile intercept. This ship is fully capable of doing that. Let me just... Nice. Okay, another missile. It's this direction now. Oh. Nice. Let's keep a lookout for more missiles. It's a good thing that they're sending missiles towards this guy, not the flagman. Uh, that means... <laughs> that means the flagman can actually get itself repaired. And actually get more guns, as I wanted it to. Okay, you know what? You guys actually fly to Visnik. You know what? Never get repaired. Bro. Uh, same thing with the Argilos. Why don't you fly to Visnik as well? You need to get repaired. The lightnings. I don't really know what you to do with you guys just yet. Uh, I'll figure this out later. Do you think I could land this thing too? Steady as she goes, as the guy said. Come on. Steady. Steady. Oh no, it's going down. Oh, it's going down. It's going down. Guys. Hey, yo. <laughs> I can't land it. Uh... Holy shit. We're missing a lot of planes, too. Ah, oh, shit. Come on, stupid ass missiles. Planes, can you please intercept this missile? Ah, shit. Okay, maybe I shouldn't uh, repair the Argilos at Visnik. Maybe it's not a good idea. The Argilos is not good at intercepting missiles. Ah, uh, shit. Ah, uh, shit. Fuck, we lost the Argilos. Problem. Problem. Big problem. That is a very big problem. We just lost our biggest aircraft carrier. Uh... <coughs> That's because I thought that they weren't going to shoot any missiles at, at the moment. Well, I guess they did. Okay. The flagman is looking really damn good right now. You know what? Uh, Grasshopper? Join the flagman. You guys also join the main fleet. Uh, these guys, you join the lightnings. And you go to Visnik for repairs you can stop missiles so if any missiles fly at you they'll fly at you and you'll shoot them down is work except for the fact that we just lost a bunch of ships <laughs> holy shit nah this i do not like this campaign whatsoever if i ever do a next um, if i ever do another haravera campaign i'm gonna try not to 
brute force the ending right here as I'm trying to do here. Alright, Beans Navy, this is it. Uh, we're just gonna get the fleet prepared for the fight at uh, Haravera. And uh, once these guys get full fuel, we're gonna send these guys towards Haravera and we're going to fight the garrison there. So, uh, this is the fight that you guys have been waiting for for so long. And the fight that we have been fighting for for so long as well. Neva, you actually go to these guys. Don't get so that you don't get targeted by missiles. Sava, stay behind because you are helpless. <laughs> Honestly, the Sava, I think I'll just. <laughs> well, I mean, there's no point in selling it. I mean, it's it's just. I have like a shitload of money just because of a glitch in the game. Actually, you know what? I will actually sell the Sava. I think it would be fair if I get rid of it. Okay, Sava, you have served us very well, and uh, it's time to say goodbyes. Unfortunately, you are you are not going to survive until the Battle of Haravera. So yeah, farewell. All right, set course to Haravera. Stations. Sailors, guardsmen, this is the fight you've been waiting for and fighting for all your lives up until this point. Alright everyone, let's go. Yo ho 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 ho. That's a lot of ships. <laughs> that is a lot of ships. Here is the Varag that I was talking about earlier. Yeah, this is the older version of the Variag, uh, of this mod. Uh, in the newest patch, there is actually a different ship, but uh, this is the one that used to be there. So, okay, uh, let's use proximity fuses, because these guys are going to have a lot of missiles. Sava and Memnon, I'll fight these with the flagship, but everyone else, I'll try to kill, kill them with the grasshopper. This might take a couple of attempts to fight, because it's just such a rough battle. But we'll see. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go, bitches! Okay, Vernar. Shit. You are right here. God damn. Okay, you shoot down all the missiles. Oh shit. Uh, we're 
getting a little bit bombarded with missiles, but that's okay. We have proximity fuses, so we can just at least attempt to um, shoot down their missiles. Oh shit, this is getting already so hot. It's getting so hot already. Okay, move to the other side. Oh shit. Let's restart this battle. This wasn't a really good battle. Why do I have to start at the very top where I'm weak? Oh, come on. And they have armor piercing. Shit. Okay, shoot everything down. Oh no, this is this is just What is this? Okay, let's try this a third time. <laughs> Shit. Oh my god, I did not realize that the Grasshopper is such a terrible... Well, I mean, okay. It's not a terrible ship, it's just there's just so much here. Like, it's just so rapey and it's just, it's insane. Maybe it's better if we stay afar from these guys. Maybe it's better if we stay far away from them. They're gonna try to close in on me though, very quickly. Okay, let's at least get at least one or two kills here. Come on, at least right now. So far, the flagship is not too damaged. It is gonna get quite damaged though, really soon. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, the Centaur is dead. Okay, the Memnon is in the battlefield, as you can tell by the drop in frame rate. <laughs> oh no. Okay, let's kill these smaller ships first. We'll deal with the big guy later on. Let's see if we can get behind. 
behind the Sava. Maybe shoot at this guy for a little bit, just a little bit. Just to give this guy a little bit of a spanking. It is done. The fleet of the Trax, led by his third son, Teres, has landed in Haravera. The whole town rejoices in the sight of imperial troops marching through the city. They make promises of great feasts and games in our honor. Yet, our journey is not yet over. The only way to the monastery is by a treacherous goat path, my prince. We'll have to march on foot. My son, it is not permitted for anyone without the Emperor's blessing to enter the monastery. Remain in Haravera until my arrival. The time has come, lad. Lead the way. The telegraph says that we are not allowed to go. We are going up there, lad. Oh, game is saved. You know shit's about to go down when the game is saving. Disobedience to high command? Whoa. Epilogue. And so, the secrets of the monastery remain there, hidden in wait until their time. The tide finally seemed to turn in favor of the Empire. Once the gathering's hold over the Exarchy was shattered, a devastating attack by the combined Imperial forces brought the fighting in that theater of war to a close. Once the last rebel stronghold in Garat was destroyed, the world would find its peaceful ways once more. Father Anastasius found he could not burden the difficulty of isolation any longer. Not after the journey he had been through. Though Tyrus did offer him a role in the Thrax's court, he humbly turned it down to become a priest for one of the little villages dotting the mountains of Thracia. Admiral Stefan was proud to be a part of the expedition, but the scar of disaster he had caused at Flora could not be healed so easily. Retirement suited him better, and indeed, after he congratulated everyone for their work, he left for his hometown in Odrysia. I have heard that many tried to talk with him, to learn about the war and so on. But he did not wish to remember those days, even in his last moments. Sven, the mercenary working for the Wharfmasters, went east shortly after the expedition was over, 
Sometimes rumors about his exploits with the strange people that inhabit that area creep their way through the long merchant routes all the way back here. But those are just rumors. Even so, he would not be remembered for long after his time. The motives of the one named the Pale Death of Geralt remained a mystery to all involved. Though he proved himself an able ally to Thierry's cause, it is speculated that the aristocratic families had no interest in his rise to prominence. He was treated unjustly in the eyes of many, as he was basically forced to return to the northern desert where he and his followers lived in exile amongst the pirate clans. Phoebe, the Voivodina of the Kasanis, had decided that her tribe deserved more than the isolation of the Highlands. For her service to the Empire, her family was granted many noble titles and vast amounts of land in the far north. She cleverly expanded her business to many different sectors and with the favor of Sayadi managed to become one of the wealthiest people of her time. A bright future awaited Anton after the expedition. Who would have thought that the humble lieutenant hailing from an impoverished peasant family would one day become one of the leading military strategists in the whole world? Awards after decorations, honors after medals. By the time he reached 50 years of age, his uniform could no longer contain them all. The Grand Master of the Seneschals was relieved to have accomplished Sayadi's bidding. If it was not for the fact that he was recalled back not a moment after the city was taken, we could say he slept peacefully from then on. He returned to the Imperial Academy to become its headmaster so that he could spread his knowledge onto the next generation of Tarkans. I believe he yet lives. It is not known how Bastakos initially fell out of the court's favor, but in supporting Tyrus, he did regain his lost stature. He was employed by Sayadi for much of his life, and is now remembered in the history books as an important character to the development of the new imperial legal code. One should not be surprised to learn that the old Voivod's time was almost over. Indeed, for after three days of rest in the city, he was found peacefully resting below the shade of an old olive tree. He was buried in the entrance of the ancient monastery in remembrance to the fulfillment of his oath. One can still go there and see for himself. As for our prince, he chose to live a simple life away from the splendor and glamour of the royal courts. His last years were spent in isolation living in a small cottage near the place he held dearest to his heart. And that is all about these people. This story is now over. But comes change, comes crisis, and the cruelness of the world. So comes the need. And when those times come, so shall our children, or their children once more, take flight to Hara Vera. Alrighty, alrighty. This, I'm guessing, is the end of uh, High Fleet Flight to Hara Vera. Thank you all so much for sticking around to watch this campaign, and uh, I really hope that uh, this campaign was at least a little bit of an eye-opener for anyone who hasn't seen this mod before. Thank you to everyone who has left uh, good comments on all of the videos about Haravera. And uh, 
I shall see you guys in the next one. Peace forever!